Hi guys, welcome back to Miller Life. I'm Tammy and this is my helper, Logan. <laughs> um, in today's video, I made some fall decor using Dollar Tree items. I made six crafts, I think it was. Yeah. And I hope that you really like them. I know it's early for fall, but in order to decorate for fall, if you want to do it personalized and do it yourself the DIYs, then you need to start before the season begins. So that's why I'm doing fall decor right now. Um, and today it is all things pumpkin. There's pumpkin everywhere. <laughs> My big helper here. So I hope that you guys like the video today. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It's just a little click of a button at the bottom and make sure that you watch the video all the way through. <laughs> we thank you so much and happy crafting y'all. So for the first Dollar Tree DIY, I just have a candlestick and a candle plate and I'm just going to attach those together and spray paint them so that I can have a stand for my pumpkin to set a little bit higher than my other pumpkin. And you can paint these whatever color you want. I went ahead and chose spray paint because it's easier and it's chalk paint because I love the look of chalk paint. So I wiped it down with um, alcohol first because your paint will stick better if you do that. And also, if it's cold in your house and you're going to spray paint outside, be sure that you let your item sit outside for just a minute or two so that it can get um, a higher temperature so that the paint will stick better. Because if it's cold and you spray paint it out in the heat, it doesn't do very well. So you want to make sure that you let it sit outside for a minute. And then this is just a little picture that my sister had given me that I'm going to paint. Um, you can get them at the Dollar Tree too, the little pictures, but I never have been able to find them at my Dollar Tree. So I just use what I have, but if you have them, you can redo them and put whatever you want on them. And then uh, moving on, I have these carving pumpkins. I actually got these last year. I haven't been able to find them yet this year. My Dollar Tree is like taking their sweet time putting stuff out. I don't know if it's because of COVID or what, but it's so hard to find stuff right now. And then these are actually napkins that I had ordered off Amazon. I ordered them because I just wanted to use the material and they were like $12 and you get like um, 12 or 14 in a pack. I can't quite remember, but I just used it to cover my pumpkin and I cut a little hole in the top and then just begin to push it down into the hole. I didn't want to use a whole lot of hot glue on this just in case I wanted to change it later or to reuse the napkin. So that's why I just made my hole small so that it would fit tightly inside there. After I got all of the material pushed down, I got this cork from a wine bottle and I'm going to use it as the stem and I used some lamb's ear because I thought that it was a pretty green color and then I got my, once I got my lamb's ear placed where I wanted it, I did hot glue it just a little bit. I've noticed this year that um, glitter and like gold colors are really kind of becoming popular. So I got this sunflower from the Dollar Tree and I just put some Mod Podge in the center and then I took some gold glitter and sprinkled it just to give it some pizzazz. And so now it just looks so beautiful with all that glitter on it. I don't know, most people aren't fans of glitter, but I mean, in one small little flower, I thought it was really pretty. It gave it just an extra little oomph, as my mom would say.
Moving on to the next pumpkin, uh, just be aware that whenever you take those um, stems out that are on the pumpkins, they're stuck in there with like toothpicks. So I wanted you to be aware in case you stick your finger on it. Um, so I had to give this like maybe three coats of paint. And then I just took my Sharpie chalk marker. No, it's not a chalk marker. It's just a marker, a paint marker. <laughs> anyway, I took it and I just traced along the lines. And the reason why I drew the little scribbles in is so I would know where it's going to be all black and where it's not going to be all black. And I just did that until I had the pumpkin completely traced in the ridges. And then I began to paint those stripes black. Here I'm just showing how I painted the pumpkin with the stripes. I took them all the way up to the top of the pumpkin um, because I just thought that it would make it look a lot nicer. And this is how the pumpkin was looking. I was having pretty stripes. It kind of reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> like Jack the Pumpkin King I don't know but anyway so I wanted to jazz it up some more and so I took gold paint and went along the edges of the black and white and I did not like that and as you know with crafting you can always fix something that you gum up so I had this gold looking ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just took it and lined my pumpkin so that I could hide those ugly gold paint marks because I don't know what I was thinking there, but it didn't look very good. Maybe if I had had a gold pen, uh, it would have looked a lot better, like a paint pen, but I didn't have one. But look how beautiful that looks now. Like, I really love, love this pumpkin. Um, so, the top of it, I just wanted to put a little bow to just kind of jazz it up a little bit more. And as you can see, I just folded some ribbon over. The top ribbon I got from the Dollar Tree, the bottom ribbon I did not, I can't remember where I got that. Um, but yeah, and then so I tied the center off with the same Dollar Tree ribbon that I took along the sides of the pumpkin. And then I just took some hot glue after I got that nice and tight and put it on the top of the pumpkin. You want to be sure that you fluff your bow just a little bit because you don't want to put a big flat bow up there. It probably wouldn't look right. <laughs> so I cut the ends off like that and then I just hot glued it to the top. And I tried to place it in a way to where it would hide some of that ribbon where I had um, stuck it on the top there. But I didn't really want to hide my cork that I'm using. And so I placed it kind of like to the side of the cork. And then look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. Then next we're back to this candle holder that I stuck together. And I'm just going to distress it a little bit. There's no really wrong or right way to distress. I don't think you just get some paint on your brush. You got to slapping it on there. And I mean, it, it looks fine to me. Like, especially if you kind of just like swipe it. It'll hit the parts that are raised up more. Like, you can see the bottom there. How it hits those more. I think that's pretty like that, so that's why I did it that way. And then I have this pumpkin also from the Dollar Tree. It's a little wooden pumpkin. I actually did find that this year and I was shocked that I found it. 
So when I went in, I was one of those big people and I took like five of them. <laughs> First, I wanted to just sand all of that off because it does have glitter on it. And yes, I'm painting my pumpkin peacock blue. It is Waverly chalk paint. And I'm loving this color this year. It's so pretty. And to me, I think it's really going to be incorporated into a lot of fall decor. So I wanted a little pumpkin that was blue. And I also took some gold paint. It is folk art paint that I got from Walmart. And I just distressed my pumpkin with it. I used to not be that big of a gold fan, but this year I'm really thinking that it's so pretty for the fall stuff. And I never had a distressed pumpkin that was distressed with gold, so here you go. And then I took a little sandpaper over it just to, to give it more of a nicer finish. And this ribbon is also from the Dollar Tree. I think I got it in the floral section. Um, it's just like kind of like a burlap type of ribbon. And I put it on the sides and glued it down. Almost dang near burnt my finger off, but it's okay. I made it through. <laughs> and then I took a piece of jute twine and I stuck it down I, the same way. I don't know why I'm always getting hurt when I do crafting, but I guess that's just how I am. <laughs> so I burnt myself like spots. <laughs> then I just took the little ribbon that came on the pumpkin that was originally at the stem and I stuck it in the center because I thought it was cute. Next I have this USA tag that I got from the Dollar Tree around July 4th. I never used it for anything. I bought it only for the tag and you want to pop those little stars off because they are raised and I mean you can use them for something else. So stash those bad boys away into your craft section. <laughs> Then I just painted the back side of it white. I didn't want to fool with the part that was already decorated. I can cover it later if I want to. And I took some orange and distressed it. The color is pumpkin in Waverly chalk paint. And I thought it was a really pretty way to distress it. I wanted it to look kind of like old wood, but I also wanted it to have the orangey color to it. So I distressed it with the orange. And then later you'll see that I also add in um, the gold folk art paint from Walmart and the antique Waverly chalk paint from Walmart as well. So I know right now that it doesn't look exactly right, um, it actually looks like a hot mess and you're probably thinking this looks stupid but you just have to trust the process and you have to keep pushing through until you get all of your colors on there that you want. And once you get all of your colors on there, you're going to let your paint dry completely and then you will want to take some sandpaper and go over it. And by taking the sandpaper over it, it's going to make it all blend really well. And it's not going to look like it just has big paintbrush splatters on it. So you can see as I take my um, sandpaper over it that it's starting to blend really well. 
and it looks really nice. So this I did with my Creaky. I just went online and found a free Hello Pumpkin SVG file and just cut it out and then I stuck it on there and I tied a big piece of jute rope on there because I thought it's prettier than the little thin piece. Now moving on to my probably one of my favorite DIYs that I did. Um, this is the little picture that my sister gave me and I wanted it to have the checks on it but I also wanted to have gold and I wanted to incorporate the blue. So in order to get the checks on it I followed the same line that was already on there from before because as you can see um, the white paint didn't fully cover it and I'd only put the white paint on it anyhow to give it um, a base paint so that all the colors would show up really nicely on it and so I just went around and draw my lines and then I draw the squares and color those in. Then I'm going to take the same gold paint that I've been using and I'm going to paint the handle of it. I had to put like four coats of that paint on there just to get it to show up really good. I don't know if it's just a cheap paint or what the problem is, but if you know of a better paint that is gold that will show up easier without having to put a thousand coats on, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> And then I just drug that same paint through the black and the white as well just to make it blend better. I thought it looked pretty that way. Finally I brought out this blue again because it's so pretty <laughs> and I just painted the whole top part of it and it took like two coats I think and I did the first little section on the inside of it uh, just because when you stand over it I didn't want it to be different colors. Now these little jewels I got from the Dollar Tree and they come off of there in strips as you see and I wanted something to 
go in between the middle and the top. I mean the bottom and the top floor. So what I did was I just took them and stuck them on there and I am so in love with this piece. I think it turned out so pretty. I can't wait to set it up somewhere and then have people come in and be like, why did you get your little picture? But anyway, this is the final result and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so and have a great day. Happy crafting, y'all.